it's Lynette with Charm Grammy Crochet. How are you doing today? So I'm going to release this video on Thursday, uh, even though I'm filming it on Tuesday. Uh, so I have a video released on Tuesday and then Boggy Creek Live should be Wednesday. So then this video will come out on Thursday. Um, the Tuesday video was about what I'm taking on vacation. And today's video will be about um, the couple like two things that I finished <laughs> uh, and that's it that's all I have uh, but I'm going to spread it out because it got a little bit long so welcome to my channel uh, Charm Grammy Crochet if you're not if you weren't trying to be here this is where you are <laughs> but thanks for being here and I appreciate it if you are a long-term subscriber thanks for coming back again and again I appreciate you so much if you're new um, I hope I can keep you coming back again and again just uh, please hit the subscribe and like buttons, um, make comments. I do uh, I do respond to the comments. Uh, sometimes it's just a heart and sometimes there's, you know, a reply. It depends on what you've said. Uh, and sometimes I get a little behind and sometimes I'm really up to date with it. <laughs> it just all depends on what's going on. You know, life is, that's life. You got to do what you got to do when you can do it. So uh, I am participating in the crochet along by Judy from Witch Piece Crafts. Um, she is doing hashtag shutterbug AU. So that's part of what this is. And I left my little amigurumi book downstairs, but I decided I have this set of three amigurumi books that make miniature amigurumis. Um, and I've decided that I want to work from those books to do Judy's uh, crochet along. And I'm making keychains out of the, the Amigurumis. I don't know why, but that's what I'm doing with them. Uh, so for last month, I made a sea turtle and a flamingo. And for the first of this month, hopefully I can get Judy's picture and I'll put it up in here somewhere um, so you can see. But the colors were like navy blue and I think there was a rust and cream, maybe gray, uh, black. What she does is takes a picture of from when she's been on vacation and she runs it through a program where it pulls out colors and tells you what yarn to use to get those colors from the picture. Uh, so she just posts that picture and doesn't really say what the yarns are. Um, but you, that gives you, you know, you can use these to make whatever it is you want to make. If it's something that's a continuous make, fine. If it's something like I'm doing that's, you know, per individual uh, week, she does it twice a month, 1st and 15th. Uh, so she was, at, I think she said someplace in Russia. And these are the colors that, you know, went with it. So I went through my little Amigurumi books. And this is as close as I could get to the colors. Uh, this is a Kingfisher bird. They have a long beak. so And it's, it's a, a black beak. So I gave them a long black beak. Uh, they're supposed to be a light blue. Um, but we were using navy. So my Kingfisher is navy blue. And then they have this rust color. And then this is like a cream or a... I didn't really have cream in the Alara yarn that I'm using. So he got this color. It's a light gray. But then um, I gave him a darker gray feet. Because he does have dark gray feet. Uh, and then I used safety eyes. And I made them, and it's really hard to tell. But they are supposed to be rust color. Um, like the glittery... But they're so small, you can't hardly see that it's got a rust, clutter, rust color glitter tab behind it. But that was almost the same color, except, except sparkly. And I'm like, oh, that would be perfect for the eyes. Um, but you can't see the rust color eyes. So I tried. <laughs> I tried. But he turned out real cute. And so he's from my little book of Um And I love him very much. And like I said, I did make him keychain ties. And I'm having a great deal of fun making it. And, like, I made it in an evening. Even 
though I did not crochet much this past week, um, I made that. That is the one, one of three things that I made this week. Uh, and let me see if I can get this apart here. And I apologize, I did not bring up the yarns for me. They are in my amigurumi yarns and downstairs. But my good friend Joe from Joe's Web, if you don't know her, go visit her as well as Judy from Witch, Witch Piece Craft. Uh, they will be linked. Um, sorry, phone call coming in. I'm not talking to those people. Spam, you know. Um, she anyway. Joe made a pattern for a leggy heart. She's into the leggy creatures. Now hers, she didn't do with such big eyes, but uh, and she makes her own eyes. But I have all these eyes I bought, so I'm using the eyes I bought. But I love the big huge eyes on them. I think they're cool with the big huge eyes. Uh, and I used two different size yarns. This one is the baby blanket tiny I think is what it was called and so it's that like chenille-ish kind of I don't know reminds me of a chamois cloth actually kind of yarn and I had one skein I don't know why and I made something out of it but I really don't like working with the yarn um, but it's great for little amigurumis so that's what this is and I, I still have some of that left and then I made this one in this bright pink which is, I'm going to say a two-weight yarn. Uh, and this is a yarn that I got from, I think, a VIP stitch. Uh, and it, like, doesn't come with, like, a much of, a, of any information on the label. But it was really a nice, fun yarn to work with. And I love the bright, bright pink color. I just have this one of these. Uh, and again, I left the yarn in my Amigurumi basket downstairs uh, with the two weight yarns but the pattern I mean she's got little hands and feet says um, they're adorable they're so cute and it's no so so except for the mouth I um, surface crocheted so my surface crochet isn't always really great but I think it was fun, and I enjoyed the pattern very much. Uh, it is up on her. She has a tutorial. Um, yes, yeah, she put out the tutorial, which is why I'm now putting out the video. So I will link Joe's website and tutorial for these in the description box below. Um, I think she might sell the pattern, the written pattern, if you don't want to watch the tutorial. Um, but she'll say in her, you know, on her. You can, you can figure that out. Um, they're fun. And if you make them with blanket yarn, still very simple, but much bigger. Um, I wouldn't have eyes that big, I don't think. <laughs> no, I, actually, I do. Um, but Joe also has a pattern for some beautiful crocheted eyes. They are the greatest. I do have, I have used them. Um, I don't know if I have, no, uh-uh, I did not use Joe's eyes on any of the amigurumis that I have down here. <laughs> Darn it, I have used her eyes, I think on amigurumis that I gave away, <laughs> which is sad, because it is a great tutorial. Um, I'm going to write that down so I don't forget to. Uh, find that and um, you can use it as well because I know she probably has it linked in her tutorial because I know she used her eyes on her amigurumis but she made hers bigger um, I just wanted to stick with the keychain size this one's a little big for a keychain size I think um, but not tremendously I mean you could use it as a backpack buddy or on a you know purse or something like that I think it would be really cute I probably need to make another one because I have three granddaughters that would probably like like them 
um, and I only have two that are made. So I probably need to make another so I can give them to my grandkids for Valentine's Day. Even though I won't see them because we're going to be in at Boggy Creek. Um, and so this is my, I have to take a picture and enter it into her, so she'll, you know, put it on her slideshow. I, she does, uh, Judy does do a drawing once a, I think once a month, uh, for everyone that participates. Uh, I don't know what the, I don't, I don't remember if it's the same thing. I gotta take a picture of that. I don't remember if it's the same thing every time or if it's something different, uh, month to month. That she gives away. Um, she does a spinning wheel thing. And I was on there last month. And I did not intend to be on her giveaway. Uh, I just did it to support her channel. There is another crochet along. That I kind of want to do. Um, it's from Crochet 80 HD. Uh, and it's. Um. Something granny squares. You make granny squares. Two granny squares a month. I don't. I don't remember the details of it. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to do it or not. And and I'm a month behind already. <laughs> but I think you make two a week or two a month. Granny squares are easy, you know. But I just have to determine what I want to make, and that's the problem. Nancy from She's Got Yarn. Have you seen the sweater she's making? Oh my goodness, with the granny squares. I love it. And I'm like, ooh, I think I want to make that. Um, and then I saw that Jeannie from on, on Hook, um, she just put out a pattern for a short like a cropped cardigan out of granny squares gorgeous I'm like oh maybe i'll make that maybe um now nancy is doing the regular granny granny stitch as she bought the granny yarn the granny granny square yarn from red heart and she's making that work uh and she put a big granny square at the back and then little ones around it for the back. And I don't know what she's doing on the sides yet. I think she's just doing the small granny squares on the sides. Um, I don't believe that there's a big granny square in the middle. I think it's like a cardigan that she's making. And I'm like, ooh. And I love the colors that she chose, you know, that are in her, in her yarn. I'm like, ooh, I really like that. Uh, Jeannie from on the on the hook. Hers is more like a sunflower, kind of puffy, flowery, kind of uh, granny square that she made, and her cardigan is like a rust red kind of. Um, hers are more muted, dark fall colors. But I totally, it's like a, the mustard yellow, I think, and a steel gray or blue, blue gray steel kind of thing, which it looks, and maybe cream in there, I can't remember. Uh, and, and it was gorgeous um, and cropped. And I'm like, ooh, I really like that. Um, I've been wanting to make a, a wearable. I haven't made wearable in a long time. Well, I made um, Ariana uh, the sweater. But I still have the sweater from Laura that I have to make. Uh, but I was thinking if I join the ADHD, crochet ADHD, um, crochet along, I could use those squares to make a cardigan. I love a duster cardigan too. And then I'm thinking, oh, maybe I'll do it in a lightweight yarn and then have like a duster for summer. Um, so then I'm thinking, okay, lightweight yarn, maybe I should use one of the cake yarns. Um, you know, the, like the twister kind of yarns uh, that I have in my, over here. If I use some of that kind of yarn to like... have a couple of these colors 
Uh, this is Rainbow Rhapsody Cornucopia. Um, and this is Oh, Rainbow, this is Rainbow Rhapsody, and the color is called Cornucopia. I have several of these, so just let the yarn work itself. And but then I need to get something in a this is a one weight yarn, so then I would need to get something one weight to join with, like in a solid color. If I did all the grannies and if I did all the squares and something like that, then I need a solid color to join. Which I don't think I have a solid one weight yarn. Well, we'll put this away in a minute. So anyway, I'm thinking about that. And that's been part of my like I'm in a crochet fog because over the next couple of weeks I'm gonna be gone and the things and when I'm working on or the things that I have started that I want to work on are not good travel crochet. Uh, if I did something like this where I'm just making a bunch of granny squares, that's pretty easy travel crochet. But I haven't wanted to start anything like that that I'm not going to fit, that, you know, and then be gone for a couple of weeks and not work on it because I already have projects that I'm not working on because I'm going to be gone for a couple of weeks. So I've, I'm in a predicament and I just rolled over my blanket. It's, it's, um, and, oh, really quick, hold on just a second. Oh, I got it all rolled over. This is a scrap blanket I made a couple of years ago with long uh, rectangle. What is this? Uh, oh, you can't see it. So this was scraps, but I did um, modern granny with a just a solid swatch in the center, actually. And then I just um, did a modern granny around it. Which, that would be a really good idea. Then you could do long sections. Oh, I like that a lot. <laughs> Maybe that's what I do. If I did something like that and did the whole back as one granny on a duster. And then two long skinny ones on the sides as the front. And then you could just do rectangles here and sew them up, one rectangle on each, and then just use your white to, or, you know, your solid color to fill in. That would be really a good idea. What do you think? Hmm. <laughs> or the duster that I have uh, that I crocheted already, I used like 10 inch granny squares and sewed them all together. And that worked out really well. Uh, and then I had like two, I think two for the arms um, that I just sewed together and then attached and then made the ribbing here for the, you know, to add the extra length. And that worked out really well. Maybe I'll do that. And isn't this pretty yarn? That would be a really nice, I bet I could get uh, something from Hobie that could go with this in their solids. Because they sell solids in the Friends yarn. Even if it was just like a solid. Even just like, like greenish kind of color. Hmm. Now I'm talking, right? I like that idea. Um. So anyway. Um, I might want to join that. And then I'm also thinking. I, Linnean. Who I love to death. Is doing Tunisian sampler. Sam, but she's, I already tried a Tunisian sampler. Um, but she made a poncho out of one of the stitches. And I'm like, oh, I like that. And it's just the same row repeat around and around. And she made a poncho for her grandkids. One of her grandkids. I don't know if my granddaughters would want a poncho. And then what do I do with it if they don't want it? Then I'm, then I'm heartbroken because <laughs> they don't want it. Um, but maybe they would out of something like fun like that. And they would be easy just to do a couple of granny squares, like four granny squares and make a poncho for a little kid would be pretty simple. Hmm. Might have to put that back in the, but anyway, she's doing a Tunisian and she did, uh, Linnean, she did a Tunisian back and forth little poncho, like two, two big 
squares, rectangles, I don't know, and then sewed them together at the sleeves and made a collar, you know, didn't sew the middle, which was pretty simple looking. Uh, I do have a poncho that I made myself like in that similar t style. Maybe I could have. I don't want a poncho, though, because I want it open in the front. So anyway, I'm going to think about that, but I want something out of thin white yarn for summertime. Um, so maybe I could do a twofer, do Granny Squares Tunisian style, and then join in on Lenin's Tunisian as well. But I want it lightweight, and everything I think that she's done, I don't know um, if there's a lacy type of Tunisian crochet. I'm going to have to ask Lenin. That would be perfect. I'm going to ask her. I'm going to call her. And tell her that's what she needs to come up with for me. Um, so that's all I have. Those are my only finished objects. Are the two little leggy hearts. And um, my kingfisher. That I still have to take a picture of and send it to Judy. And that's all I have for you today. So I hope that you watched Boggy Creek last night. I know I have a couple of boxes myself, and I or had a couple of boxes because by now it's over. And I hope that um, Nancy did too. We got so many more blankets than we anticipated. It's so exciting. I can't wait to, to meet up with everybody uh, and see them all um, for Boggy Creek. Okay, I will see you guys. I might not see you again until we are actually at Boggy Creek. Um, so if I don't, have a great weekend because this is going to come out on Thursday. Uh, and I may not see you until Tuesday when we're at Boggy Creek. So have a great time uh, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.